Dave, I walked in on you again. I tried to pause, but... <laughs> well, I just want to say this is a time for nostalgia. Uh, for me, I see some familiar faces around here, and I want you to know that when you're all in town and around a hotel and walking down the corridor, I do the same thing that you do. Somebody says, Governor, and I turn around. <laughs> But uh, I appreciate this opportunity for some dialogue with almost the entire membership of the National Governors Association and look forward to working with you in the new approach to solving all the problems that I think we have together. I am looking forward to having a, a coordinating task force on federalism and would appreciate your suggestions before you leave as to how we can organize this. In the meantime, I'll be working with Rich Williamson on the initial planning stages. As you know, uh, this is a long time dream of mine, this thing of balancing up the, uh, the divisions of government. I think they've been badly distorted over the years. I dreamed about it before, and just, just today, I was going through some things that are still in the desk drawers from the old days, and I came across this set of figures. I don't know what they would be today, but back when I was governor, that for every 10,000 Americans, there are 12 doctors, 11 lawyers and judges, 40 gas station, atten station attendants, and 37 telephone employees. So that's a total of 100 for every 10,000 people to keep us healthy and give us legal advice and sit in the courts and fill our cars with gas and take care of the telephones but there were 130 federal civilian employees for every 10,000 people, and I thought that was too many then, and I think it's too many now. But um, the Intergovernmental uh, Affairs Office of the White House will be playing a part in our deliberations, and I'd like also your thoughts on revenue sharing. Again, my dream has always been that, if possible, the ideal situation would be not the connection of federal grants, but of eventually turning over to the states and turning, I say, back to the states tax sources that more properly belong there and which would then help fund additional responsibilities that also properly belong at the state level instead of at the federal level. Now, we haven't made a final decision on some of the things with regard to revenue sharing, but I would like to hear from you and to hear your comments. But first, I'm going to call on Governor Busby for uh, comments that the chairman of your standing committees. Uh, Thank you, Mr. President. 